know I've been waiting a while to do this video. I got some new tips in to try. I finally got a hold of that one where it's supposed to be kind of like a drag solder for through hole pins. Looks kind of cool. One thing I was wondering is if that's, so if that's solder in there or if that's solid. Yeah, yeah there's solder in there. So the thing is, it should be able to just drag it right on down there, right? Well, I want to do the typical hit the four corners if I can. At least the bottom two. I guess I'm going to try to lay the solder up in there. so good. So maybe I didn't have enough solder in there. Hmm. God, look at that giant blob in there. Flick some of it out. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Definitely a smoother action than trying to use the uh, 939 build edge. I actually forget the number on this one offhand. I'll have to flash it on screen or something. But yeah, we do a lot of uh, through hole soldering like this where you could just have one line of it and quickly drag solder it. That might actually save me some time. Very cool. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be just too wide. Yeah, I'm going to end up melting plastic. I can't get too the socket pins. Oh well, I mean it's gonna help me in the long run. That reminds me I do have a different tip to try. This is not a 939, this is a 765. This one supposedly has exactly what I need and that it has um, less of a... I don't know what, the, what you would call that. There's less coating on the tip and I can't really see it yet but supposedly there will be less blob of solder on the very edge of it and that would be perfect for me for drag soldering this is the first time I've plugged it in so it's gonna smoke a little but on the 939 I want to say you can go pretty far back in there you can kind of tell how far back it's coated, or maybe it looks like I almost have the uh, the 99's got a lot uh, shallower angle on the bevel there than the 765. So anyway, yeah, you can see it's just the beveled edge that I'm getting solder to melt on and stick to. Well, that's cool. Makes me wonder how how much better this is going to be at drag soldering stuff like this. For our first for our first drag, that was actually pretty perfect. But it's the inside one I'm more worried about because that's where the 939 was leaving a line of solder. It's a little hairline stuff, and that looks pretty good. 
yeah, I have to say I really like that. So those two tips were a great success. Now I did buy a third tip to try for fun and I've already had success with it. I did not actually video it, but it is a the 949 32 millimeter wide edge and I think it was the oh on the interposer video I just did I had a red one where I was desoldering yeah I was desoldering the old round machine pins off the top and I just laid that on there you know about like that and just grabbed them from the other side started pulling them out and that was before I was cutting the plastic so cutting the plastic is still better and actually I can still use this with the ones that are cut and grab multiple ones at a time and it worked and it worked really well the one thing I was thinking for this was um, the original Game Boy you know fixing the lines you have to heat up the ribbon or yeah it's the flat fix cable or whatever where it meets the board to kind of reflow it I think that would be perfect for huge long you know real wide parts of the uh, flat flex that were not making good contact. Not real cheap, I will say that. These were these were all around um, 40, 50 bucks and the person I ordered them from, I'd have to look up the name of the website again, said they were in stock, paid for them, got an email the next day says sorry these are not in stock, it'll take 10 to, I can't remember, 12, 10 or 12 days to get them in stock. That's not a big deal, I guess, but it just sucks, because he said he was like the, you know, North America's largest JBC supplier or whatever, something like that. And I'm like, if your website says it's in stock, then it should be in stock and ship within a couple days. But I wasn't in a rush for him, so it didn't hurt my feelings too much. Yeah. Good purchases.